Daigo versus Mochi. Let's see what the quotes are as they got into their top 16. Hopefully that's ready for us. Boom. Nice work. Mochi says, there's only best of the best left, but I'll give it my all. You confused me a little bit on that one. <laughs> but <laughs> as, he, as he said, yeah, <laughs> there, are, there are only best of the best left. But I'll give it my all, and I like that. You know, that's absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely true. Uh, mm -hmm. But this is something that uh, it needs to be mentioned. These guys practice day in, day out, especially for the league. Uh, both being part of Mildon Beast and want to make sure that they're in tip-top shape every single yeah. week, like two, three times a week, if anything. So it's gonna be very interesting. This is where Prep Daigo comes in because he's already <laughs> had that preparation. Yeah. Speaking of, let's prepare that quote yeah, from let's Daigo see, The man of many were. Oh my gosh! I was actually trying to be sarcastic. I was expecting like three words here, but he says, "I'm happy to be back in winner's side of top 16. My next opponent is my teammate in Street Fighter League, so I'll do my best to make him proud for being on the same team." By knocking him into losers, potentially? Is that what you mean? Because that would be kind of messed up for both sides of the coin, really. I'll do my best to make him proud by defeating him by, <laughs> by watching from the loser's side. I mean, I guess, you know, that's kind of a nice little OS by Daigo, because if you win, you'll... I taught him everything. Yeah, you'll, make, you'll show, make him proud because you're doing your job as his teammate. But if he wins, you'll make him proud because he gets to keep going. So, you know, it's 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 a nice little OS there from Daigo. Daigo's really good at option selects, right? Oh, so. he's he's so good at that. <laughs> if not oh, anything else man. in Street Fighter, to be honest with you. But Daigo <laughs> versus Dalsim. Or sorry, Daigo versus Mochi, the Dalsim, the premier Dalsim in the world. That's going to be a very interesting matchup. Again, no knock to all the other Dalsim players. They work very, very hard. Right. No sarcasm either, because that's a very hard character to, mm -hmm, to navigate mm -hmm. and maneuver, right? Um, over time, Dalsim has received a lot of like criticism all across the board. It's been very difficult to really find success with this character without putting in the work, without oh, putting yeah. in that lab time. Characters or players like Mr. Crimson have been leading the pack and been doing this character's so top well. five now, man. No, I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel like it takes a real real talented group of individuals to make this oh, character yeah, work. Like, absolutely. No, people might think I'm trolling, but no, I, I genuinely mean it. I think Dawson it could be it's very He's hard to one imagine. of the hardest characters to use to, to put at the max level, for sure, for sure. And I can't believe that this is a matchup that we're getting here in the first round of top 16. But here it is, Daigo trying to put the pressure on Mochi right here. He's actually is trying to be a little bit aggressive, but I think that's because he's got the screen space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you talked about that moment where Guile had to chase down Dalsim. I feel like it didn't even exist that often, or it didn't even uh, have to happen too much, right? Because of the booms that take place right. in that neutral part of the game. But here we go well, now. And V-Shift, I mean, look, shout outs to the Capcom dev, man. They said in that patch that they felt like V-Shift was going to be a powerful tool for him, which is why they nerfed the V-Skill one. And they were right. They were right. He absolutely is. That V-Shift has been such a benefit for Dalsum. And I love that. Using the Yoga Fire to dash in there and get himself out of the corner. And now it just pretty much reset the <laughs> Yoga Sniper. And that's so tough to manage because even if he blocks it, even if Daigo blocks it, you still have to worry about the Yoga Fire. Right. All right, so Mochi taking round number one. There we go. There's the anti-air. But yeah, see, there's that nerf. After out of the V-Skill one, you get hit. It's a knockdown now. Yeah, it puts you in juggle state as well. So if Daigo had maybe, you know, kept the charge going, he right. got something out of it. Maybe a knee bazooka, if anything, but either way. Okay, V offensive V reversal to try to keep Mochi in the corner, but of course this is Dalsum. He can just try to teleport out of there, take a single hit. Oh, oh caught the God. V shift. He read it that time, and he went with the upside down kick, which has the delayed hit, so that it will catch the V shift as well as with throws. Yeah, it passes through that activation window, so you don't get an opportunity to use the V break. What a whiff punish from Daigo against the low medium kick. If you mm -hmm. missed it, man, that was. And you, I, I'll, did you see? Da so the reason why Daigo was able to jab him out of that teleport because he walked and blocked the Yoga Fire faster. If he had stayed in place and block and let it come to him, he would have still been in block stud. So that was genius by Daigo. Okay, now here's this corner pressure. Daigo has gotten Mochi oh. here. Is Mochi gonna try to teleport out of there? Maybe just take a single hit just to get out of the corner? Nope. Oh. And that hasn't been the case, right? Mochi is still stuck in this corner. Oh, that is he huge. He missed the juggle from oh, the counter. No. V-shift oh, break. I've got my own V-shift. 
Oh, that's a great trade for Daigo. He just needs one more hit. He got into the range for the overhead, and Daigo taking game number one over YC Mochi. And that's tough, right? Even if you call it correctly against the Sonic Booms, with, uh, you know, as YHC Mochi did, if you happen to catch an EX Sonic Boom, that knockdown is going to mean the world to Daigo. He's going right. to dash up and put you in that mix where you have to guess for your life in that situation. That's exactly no. what happened. I remember when Daigo made his comeback in Street Fighter 4 and there was the GameStop tournament. He played a Dalsum player that was in... Uh, you As know who that was? Exhibition. I forgot which Japanese. It's, it's not no, Mochi. It was, it, was it, was, it was a Korean player, actually. Oh, was it? It was a oh, Korean Oh, okay, player. okay. Somebody... One, uh, one that went into uh, playing Seth towards the end. But anyways, yeah. Okay, I, okay. I was watching that earlier. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it was Punko. Oh, no, no. I was thinking of a different one. I was thinking of a different. There was a... Uh, it was look, Mike Ross was there. They yes, were it was in a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know exactly what there was a Dalsum player there too. I, I, someone I in the, swear someone it was. on Twitter will remind me which Dalsum player that was. I don't think it was YHC Mochi. Oh, oh my God! The YHC Mochi's here instead. The delay on the buttons on the way down. Daigo tried to catch him early with that standing medium kick, but Mochi came down a little bit later. See, now I'm thinking about my Street Fighter 4 history. Am I tripping? No, Puka was playing Ryu. My mistake. No, see, you got me thinking about it. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Distracting everybody yeah, let's here. let's not talk about that. That's not important. Daigo with yeah, the five-level We're in the shuffle. now. We're here in the here and now. Oh, no. oh, oh the backbreaker. That's yeah. the thing, right? You get to put him back into the corner right. as well. That's why you can't just try to teleport and take a hit, because Guile can actually air throw you right back into the corner. Oh, the oh, counter hit, crouching heavy punch. Damage. But that's going to be great, right? Getting that hit is important for Mochi because he's able to teleport out of the corner yeah. and reassess, or at least, you know, reset the pace. But once Daigo gets that knockdown, it's just a whole different story. Mochi yeah. has been on the back foot majority of the times after the knockdown. Yeah, you got to watch out for that crush counter heavy punch now from Guile as well because then he can get the super right afterwards. But he's just pushing. Mo oh, my God. Back-to-back -back throws. He tried to go for a counter hit. Gonna get out of there. Oh, he the chased read. it down. He said, you are going to be shift just like you did last time. I am going to dash forward and meet you where you stop and get the punish. That was disgusting. How often do you see a Dalsum chase someone else down on the ground right? via dash? <laughs> via dash. Not using air mobility, not using teleport, but dashing up as a read and going in for the full Dude. combo. YHC Mochi is a beast yeah. against the beast. That's why he's part of Team Beast. Come on now. <laughs> we can't make this stuff up. We really can't. Oh, man. All right. Back to this neutral over here. 1-1 one, one now. Loser of this match does get sent to loser's bracket, and they would have to win one more match to get into the top eight. Nice. Yes, yeah. I love that. Being able to maintain that charge on the way down to get that yeah. big confirm. And speaking of confirms, look at the full combo. Stun That's is be imminent. A stun, yep. How uh, much damage uh, can Daigo uh, do uh, here uh, without spending uh. meter? Yep. Gonna save all that meter and then get the throw here. And again, just to remind you guys, whoever wins these first uh, Koano, and if Daigo can take this round, they will be in top eight for tomorrow. They just need to play that one game, mm -hmm. and they're qualified. But Mochi, obviously, not going to go down with a fight. We went last game, last round, last time. Wouldn't be surprised if every single one of these games went to that. Yeah, I would love it, personally. OK, does block the overhead off of the target combo. Trying to find his way back, but Mochi's still stuck Ooh, in this corner. Gets catches knocked the down. back dash. It's so imperative for Daigo to strike while the iron's hot, and that's exactly what he's doing now against Mochi. The Viaversal finds like the mark. Like he it. does not opt to teleport because of the fact that EX is still on deck against Daigo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but still able to fight a little bit out of the corner, even though he's... St oh, again, yes. yeah, you can't escape. You can't escape. And here another we go, the one. forward throw against Daigo. Another throw. No, that's he it. hit the button, and he's going to get the confirm. Daigo is going to move on to the top eight on winner's side. He will be playing starting tomorrow on the winner's side up against Kawano. First round. Uh, that's top actually eight. pretty beast, yeah. <laughs> the meeting of uh, former teammates, uh, the student versus the teacher, Kawano versus Daigo. Those are our first two players into the top eight. That is actually pretty impressive uh, overall from Daigo just... Uh, taking that loss for Mochi, right? Being red like that off of the V shift, he's like, he always just brushes it off. He's like, huh, I guess I can't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how he responds. <laughs> but you so know what? Is. I'm sure he, you know, made Mochi proud.
Yeah. <laughs> are you proud of me, Mochi? Are you? After that beat down? We're are teammates. You proud of me? We're teammates. Aren't you proud if of me? If anything, I'm it's like. happy for me. It's like, well, you know, I understand the matchup a lot more just because of you. So thank you. Thank you for teaching me well, I guess, mm, in, a, in a way. 